Hi viewers, a very warm welcome from Aviation and Air Traffic Control Channel. Today we will discuss about fuel dump, which is also known as fuel jettison. We will also discuss about the rules and related radio telephony procedures. Fuel dump don't happen every day. They are also not uncommon. Nor do they usually represent a major emergency. In fact, if an aircraft is taking the time to dump fuel before landing, that is likely an indication that the issue forcing the plane to land is serious but not critical. In case of emergencies, pilot will decide to get on the ground as soon as possible and will not spend time in jettisoning fuel. What is fuel dumping? Fuel dumping, more commonly referred to as fuel jettison, is the intentional controlled jettison of fuel from an aircraft in flight. Now, we should know that why aircraft dump fuel. The reason to dump fuel is simple, to drop weight. Any given aircraft has a maximum landing weight at which it can land. And in most cases, that weight is lower than its maximum takeoff weight. So, if an airplane has to return to its departure airport shortly after takeoff due to technical reasons or due to some re emergency reasons, especially when it is loaded up with full fuel at departure airport, it will likely need to reduce weight in order to land. So, if an aircraft's design landing weight is less than that of the maximum takeoff weight and there is no provision for an overweight landing, a situation could occur in which aircraft need to burn sufficient fuel to lighten the aircraft before landing. A fuel dumping system may be required on these aircraft to allow fuel to be jettisoned in flight to avoid structural damage caused by landing the aircraft when it is too heavy. Most narrow body planes like Boeing 737, Airbus 320 are not fitted with the fuel dump system. That is because they meet specific criteria laid out by aviation regulators showing they can still perform critical maneuvers like a go around before landing near maximum takeoff weight. At the same time, many larger airplanes like Boeing 777 and Airbus 330 don't need to have a fuel dumping system installed. Interestingly, the Boeing 757 never needed to have one because its maximum takeoff weight is very close to its maximum landing weight. If required, in the event of an emergency requiring a return to the departure airport, the aircraft circles near the departure airport in order to consume fuel to get down to within the maximum structural landing weight limit. Or if the situation demands, simply lands overweight without delay. Three and four engine jets like Lockheed Lima 1011 McDonnell, Douglas DC-10 and MD-11, Boeing 747 and Airbus 340, most of those have jettison systems. They require maximum landing weight to be less than the maximum takeoff weight to avoid structural damage caused by landing the aircraft when it is too heavy. How does it work? On many large commercial airplanes, a special nozzle is fitted to the wing. If a pilot thinks it is necessary, the system pumps out fuel at the nozzle at a rate close to a few tons per minute into the atmosphere quickly. It is a safe procedure and they are safety features in the aircraft to stop the fuel dump at a certain level to ensure enough fuel is left to continue for landing. Fuel dumping procedure. When an aircraft operating within a controlled airspace needs to dump fuel, the flight crew shall advise air traffic controller. The air traffic controller shall coordinate with the flight crew the following. The route to be flown, which if possible should be clear of cities and towns. 
and these areas should be preferably over water and away from the areas where thunderstorm have been reported or expected. The duration of fuel dump is to be agreed between air traffic controller and flight crew and the fuel dump level to be used should not be less than 6000 feet. The ecological aspect of fuel jettison have been most closely studied by the United States Air Force. These studies have shown that in general fuel jettisoned about 5000 to 6000 feet will completely vaporize before reaching the ground. Therefore, Boeing's general recommendation is to jettison fuel above 5000 to 6000 feet whenever possible. Although there is no restriction on jettisoning at lower altitude if considered necessary by the flight crew. Let us discuss about separation of other aircraft with fuel dumping aircraft. Other known traffic should be separated from the aircraft dumping fuel by at least 10 nautical mile horizontally but not behind the aircraft dumping fuel. Vertical separation is to be used if the behind the aircraft dumping fuel within 15 minutes of flying time or a distance of 50 nautical mile by at least 1000 feet above aircraft dumping fuel and at least 3000 feet if the other aircraft is below the aircraft dumping fuel. So at every airport, a traffic service authority demarcate fuel dumping area. This area is as far as possible is kept clear of cities and towns and preferably over water bodies. ATC before approving fuel dumping in this area ensures that thunderstorm have not been reported or expected in this area. Fuel dumping level to be used should not be less than 6000 feet. Other known traffic should be separated from the aircraft dumping fuel by at least 10 nautical mile horizontally but not behind the aircraft dumping fuel. If other aircraft is behind the aircraft dumping fuel and within 15 minutes of flying time or a distance of 50 nautical miles then the other aircraft is vertically separated by at least 3000 feet if below aircraft dumping fuel and at least 1000 feet if it is above the aircraft, which is dumping fuel. Communication during jettison. Normally before approving fuel jettison, a traffic controller will advise the aircraft about the fuel dumping area. During fuel dumping operation, aircraft will maintain radio silence, but he has to monitor the frequency and before commencing fuel dumping operations, shall advise a traffic controller the time when radio silence will be terminated. Information to other air traffic service units by air traffic controller. Adjacent air traffic control unit shall then be advised of the fuel dumping and requested to broadcast for information of other aircraft prior to commencement and after termination of fuel dumping. Information to other flights by air traffic controller. A traffic controller will broadcast warning message on approach frequency. The phraseology used will be attention all aircraft fuel dumping in progress over. He will tell about the location by the type of aircraft and the flight direction. And once this fuel dumping will be completed, he will again broadcast a message attention all aircraft fuel dumping over location terminated. So we have reached to the end of this session. Please like this video and share your views in comment section. Thanks. Please like and subscribe and press the bell icon to get new video updates.